voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. I was kept in the office all day and forced to walk home because of my shorts. I was forced to miss class time because my bra straps were showing. A student at my school complained about sexual harassment and she was told that she shouldn't have been wearing a low-cut shirt. I had a vice principal follow me to three classes to make sure I was wearing my sweater. We all know where this is going. The fucking dress code argument. Oh, ho, ho. the stupid is strong and I guess some of these people are never even heard of professionalism because that's what schools are trying to do. They're trying to make you into a professional. A teacher at my friend's school lifted up a student's skirt to see if she was wearing shorts underneath. I had a teacher who called herself the dress code Nazi and told students they dressed like sluts. Some of you probably already do. Hey, dress codes aren't cool. If I feel comfy and cute, why should I have to change? Why the fuck should people f care what you feel uh, comfortable in? If, if there's a dress code, you follow it. Okay? At least, at the very least, you're not wearing a fucking uniform. If you were talking about uniforms, then I am 100% aboard on that. But as long as you're talking about fucking dress codes, that's an entirely different issue. If you're going to enter a professional business, or any kind of business whatsoever, and they expect you to dress a certain way, do you think they are going to care on what you feel comfortable in? No, they won't. So why should a school care on what you feel comfortable in? What's the big deal of bra straps? Most high schools have dress codes. They ban things like tank tops, bra straps, short shorts, and even yoga pants. Dress code sexualize young women. How the fuck does this do a dress code sexualize women? How? Hey, please explain! If you were being forced to wear something that is provocative, that makes the boys go, oh man, she got big tits, then you would actually have a point. But you're. You, 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 how? How the fuck are you being sexualized? Dress codes punish women for taking control of their own bodies. No! No, this is not some sort of punishment. It's a way to make both men and women dress up more properly in order to act more professional. That is the idea. Dress codes shame women who don't dress modestly. What's so inappropriate about my thighs anyway? <sighs> You know, it's really ironic because, you know, these these feminists are complaining about how they're not being allowed to wear a certain type of clothes. You know, they're not being allowed to dress, you know, sexually. You know, they're not allowed to wear um, high top cuts, whatever, that show their boobs. They're not allowed to wear short short pants no that's that's completely oppressive but then they turn it around and you know complain about how a certain man wearing a certain shirt that contains a half naked woman is misogyny that is oppressing women because they're being viewed as objects how we apply this to video games and, and movies, if a woman, if so much so dresses sexually the same way that real women do, then that's oppression. Do you not see the massive hypocrisy right there? You have any fucking idea on how stupid this is? Like, a man can land on a comment and do the impossible, and these feminists would not care. They will focus more on the shirt than to wear than, than the achievement itself. These women do not care about professionalism because their feelings are being hurt. Do you have any fucking idea 
on how stupid this is? It's no freaking wonder why there are men out there who are going their own way. Why they feel that women are becoming assholes. Because this is entire, this is proof right here. That these feminists are turning women into privileged fucking assholes. It's no wonder why Davis Arini, you know, felt like women are being total fucking assholes. They're being told they're degenerate sluts because we have women like these. It's no wonder why Kazoom Fowler, you know, believes that if he wasn't born gay, he would that feminism made him gay because women are turning into fucking assholes. And you know what? I'd rather be single for my entire life than to be married to a terrible human being. I'd rather be married to a man than to be married to a feminist. This is how bad it has gotten. Legs are not sexual. If a teacher finds my shorts inappropriate, they're sexualizing me. HOLY FUCK IS THIS WRONG! Don't punish me, punish the teacher. You lady do not deserve to have children. Somebody please fill her with cement. And quit the excuses. Don't tell me to respect myself. My clothing choice has nothing to do with self-respect. Because your feelings are far more valuable than anything in the world. You're such a precious little snowflake, aren't you? I respect myself enough to love my body. I am not afraid to show my skin because my body is beautiful. And that is self-respect. Isn't it ironic the person who's not afraid to show her skin is wearing a t-shirt and a sweater? I mean, talk about contradictory! If you're not afraid to show a little skin in, in your school, then why all of a sudden you're afraid to show your skin when it comes to fucking- to making a fucking YouTube video? Stop telling me to dress professionally. High school is a professional. And what constitutes professional? Well, I'll tell you what it isn't. Looking like you've been hit by a fucking truck. Or looking like you've been raped by three men. Yeah, yeah, you know, fuck professionalism. Your feeling comes first. Let me ask you something. Would you really trust someone that doesn't really care about their personal hygiene or what they look like? If they look like a fucking bum, would you really trust What if I want to be an artist? Where's the dress code for that? What about other professional jobs like secretary or teachers? Yes, teachers have their own dress codes. Because it's not like you're going to expect a, a teacher to be wearing nothing more than a fucking bra and panties. If a boy is too distracted by my bra strap to do his schoolwork, that's his problem. Don't teach girls to cover up. Teach boys to see girls as more than sexual objects. You fucking people. You fucking people. Yeah, how dare we? How dare we acknowledge your looks? How dare we? you know, have sexual attraction towards you. How dare we? <laughs> you know what this is like? It's like, you know, putting a sheep in a lion's den and it's expecting the lions not to tear the sheep fucking apart. This is, this is on a grand scale of stupid. I just can't wait to show this to Sargon or Skeptor or Warcorp666 or Monday Matt because this video is really fucking stupid. And my hope for women being actually, you know, decent human beings is, is slowly decreasing to the point that it makes me want to become gay. Instead of sending me home for my clothing, send home the boys who harass me. Is my clothing more important than my education? Is your feelings more important than your fucking job? Sexualizing women and then punishing them for it is gross and wrong. HOLY FUCK IS THIS WRONG! I come to school to learn, not to be sexualized. Then learn to not dress like a total fucking slut. 
Show your female students that you respect them. From this video, I don't respect any of you. Rethink the dress code. I hit the bottom, there ain't nowhere else to go but up. Bad days at work give you an attitude and you were rough. And take it out on me, but that's about enough. You put your hands on me again, I'll put you- I am so spreading this video like a fucking virus. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. If you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.